actually this is our first time public. We've been underground for the past 11 years, right? Actually, this used to be like a, a, a word of mouth thing, which never used to appear on the mainstream media, right? But now we've seen that we have surpassed the undercover, the, the, the underground, you know what I mean, profile. So now we're taking it public. Okay, what happened is that we had this permit, you know what I mean, granted from the, the police. And actually, three days before, we've been, we've been called in into the police station with a meeting that they are revoking that permit. And so, you know, we had delays, you know what I mean? Yeah, delays because we didn't know where we were going then, you know what I mean, in terms of are we going to have this or not. But, you know, endless effort made it possible, you know what I mean? Yeah, because we had to appeal to the commissioner of police, you know what I mean? And so he, you know, granted, re-granted that permit. I don't know what happened, man. <laughs> I don't know what happened, what happened in the mine. But I would say, why did they give us the permit in the first place, you know what I mean? You know. They just want freedom, freedom, freedom to smoke the herbs, freedom to access and um, develop other products from the herb, you know what I mean? Yeah, and um, just to get together and be at one, you know? Yeah, the development of ganja and um, all the attachment, all the connectivities to it will grow, you know what I mean? So it's gonna be developing both the event and the product itself. Yeah. Vibration. People listen. This when I'm a two-year-old, me and my father said, only police and rasta can free ganja. Next shot. 